Okay, we're talking about the name of the creator. This will be part two of our session that we're doing. And uh, we talked about the fact is that the name of the creator uh, and how it's pronounced, how we know for sure how his name is pronounced because there's a lot of deception out there. People being told that his name is uh, you know, unpronounceable. We don't know how to pronounce his name, all kind of lies. And, um, you know, if you really thought this thing out, you know, the creator has given us his name and it's in the original text of the scriptures over uh, almost 7,000 times. I believe it's 6,823 times. The, this is the name that appears in your scriptures, but it's been edited out of the scriptures with a substitution of the word Lord. And so most people refer to the creator as Lord and that is not his name. His name is Yahuwah. These four letters here, if you were reading from the original text, you would see that these are the letters that were used uh, of his name. He wants his name to be proclaimed. His, his name is to be honored. His name is to be uh, praised. Uh, in fact, it's the only name in all of Scripture that we are to praise. How many of you knew that? If you were to ask most people today, what name is in the scriptures that we are to praise, they would, most people would say the name Jesus, but that's not what the scripture says. It does not say praise the Lord. It says halal u yah is the actual Hebrew, the, what it says, praise yah, which are these first two letters. We talked about this in our last session. Hebrew reads from right to left. So the first two letters, uh, these right here, the, the first letter being a, uh, a yad, and the hey gives, gives us the pronunciation of Yah. Again, this is found in the uh, expression or the, the, the phrase, ha, ha, well, most people say hallelujah, but it's actually pronounced correctly as halal u Yah. The Yah being these last two letters, and what that means is halal means praise unto Yah or Yahuwah, praise unto him. That's the only name that's mentioned in all the, the, the Old Testament or the Tanakh, the Hebrew Scriptures, or the New Testament. It's the only name mentioned that we are to praise is the name of our Creator, Yahuwah. And uh, so with that known, we, we all should know the fact is that uh, he, he would uh, want us to know how to pronounce his name. And if you do this study and, and uh, investigate this out, you'll see that this is correct. We talked about in our last session that uh, one of the ways we know how to pronounce the name of the Creator is because you find these same four Hebrew letters plus one additional letter, the letter D or Dalit, in the, in the uh, pronunciation of the tribe of what most people refer to as Judah, but is, but is really re referred to as correctly as Yehuda. That's the tribe that the Messiah, Mashiach, came from was the tribe of Yehuda. And we pointed out that uh, all four letters in the Creator's name is found in the pronunciation of Yehuda, except for one additional letter being the, the, the letter D is Dal or Dalit in Hebrew. And that's where you get the pronunciation of Yehuda. So this is a real simplistic way to help teach people how to pronounce the name of the Creator. We know his name is not pronounced as Jehovah. We know that his name is not pronounced as Yahweh. We know that it's not pronounced as Yivah, Yehovah. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit on our next session more about this, but I do want to point out that this letter here, this third letter in the Creator's name, is what's ad, uh, what, what has been corrupted uh, with the modern Hebrew by changing the, the pronunciation of this letter. This letter has always had the U sound. But in modern Hebrew, it's been changed to make a W sound or the V sound. That's where you get this pronunciation of Yahweh or Yahweh, the W sound. But in the original Paleo Hebrew, there was no W sound, nor was there a V sound. It was the U sound. And we'll prove this out if you'll just listen to, to the upcoming videos that we have to, that I'll sh show you. Without a doubt, this letter has always made the U sound. And uh, it's only been by modern Hebrew, by, by the addition of these vowel points or that they've added to the letters to change the pronunciation of how the name of the Creator uh, pronounces it, pronounce, his name is pronounced. And this has added mass confusion to the pronunciation of the Creator's name. 
I know this is going to be a help to you, so please continue to listen in. Please share these videos with people who are not aware of how to pronounce the name of the Creator. And um, if you have the desire to learn and, and to know, uh, which I did about seven years ago, I guarantee you, you'll come out with the understanding and see how this is the way that his, not only his name is pronounced this way, but it'll, you'll have a greater appreciation for the name of the Creator and the power that's in that name. Thank you for, for your time this afternoon, and we'll uh, hook up together on our next session. Until next time, shalom.